Let's play. All right, let's do this. This is um, Repo 4 Blow Up in GTA Online Solo. Yeah, I'm playing by myself because I hate it when, well, a hard difficulty some level 5 idiot doesn't know what he's doing, charges in the battle, and loses both of our team's lives immediately. So, I play these repo jobs by myself. This is Repo 4 Blow Up. It's my favorite repo job, I think. Maybe apart from the one we have to steal the cars from the plane. I forget the exact name of that one. Anyway, I'm actually going to go get some armor for we start the job because I want to have some uh, heavy armor. Because uh, there's a lot of gunfire in this one, I think. Here we go. Heavy armor. There we go. Super heavy armor. Perfect. Alright. Let's do this. All right, let's destroy the vehicles. Here we go. Um, I'm probably going to cut out the drive to the warehouse just because nothing happened. It's a very short and uneventful drive, so no point in me leaving it in the recording anyway. So here we go. Blow up the vehicles. I don't like these cars anyway. These cars are all actually pretty bad, so blow them up. Although, it would be kind of cool. I mean, I, I guess stealing all of them wouldn't make sense for mission because there's like, let's see, 10 vehicles up here in the four special vehicles downstairs, I think, right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, anyway, this, this, this is a very fun mission, um, and because it's, it's pretty easy to do it solo. Like, shit doesn't really kick off until you get outside the warehouse, anyway, so yeah. Also, I, may, I remember to not park my car directly outside the door, because if you drive up to the warehouse and start the cutscene while still in your car, uh, your car does not spawn next to the warehouse when you leave. I've parked the armored Karuma um, in between a few boxes to act as cover for when we get out of the warehouse, so that, that should, that, hopefully that'll all go pretty well. Head to the basement, okay, let's go. Uh, these stairs do take forever. I don't actually own a warehouse. The only thing I really own is GTA 5 for you and nightclubs in an apartment. Alright, let's take that one out. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh shit! What the fuck? Oh. Alright, yeah. That grenade took a while to go off. Damn, that's definitely gonna cut my profit margin. Crap. Oh well, hopefully I won't die on the hopefully I won't die when the onslaught of enemies comes out. I'm playing this one on this is on I believe medium difficulty. I normally play this on hard, I just forgot to set it this time. Um Oh well. I was busy being an idiot. I apologize for that one. I should not have died there, that's completely my fault. Um Oh well, the piece of the car actually did hit me. I'm using sticky bombs now just to get, make it this easier, so I won't hopefully accidentally kill myself. That was really stupid. I'm pretty embarrassed about that one actually. Anyway, uh yes, yeah, uh some body armor here. Um Super heavy, here we go. Yeah, there we go. And boom. Perfect. Alright, so I'm, pr pr I'm probably just gonna go hide behind the flatbed trailer and pick them off like basically one by one. Probably gonna go for the combat MG, sniper rifle, and rocket launcher combo. Maybe the minigun, I don't know. I've actually I only got the minigun a few days ago when I hit level 120. I've not had, really had a big chance to use it. Uh, anyway, All right, let's do this. <laughs> Walk into the freaking. Um, is it, is it a jack lift over there? Yeah. Anyway. I might actually might just I actually might use the Karuma just to go around and uh, kill people in the parking lot with because it it's it's not hundred percent bulletproof, but it's definitely it's it's my favorite armor vehicle because it's agile and stuff like that. It's quick and agile and mostly bulletproof. Well, it was mostly bulletproof until that happened. God damn it, this is useless now, isn't it? Maybe I can get something with it. Also, you can't really aim at the back of this car very well because it's shielded. <sighs> damn it. You know, you know, no, yeah, you know, yeah. Fuck this, fuck this. I'm just gonna do my normal strategy. Actually, let me just park over here so I can take this easily when it's time to leave the area. Uh, let's hide, shall we? I'm just gonna camp out behind this place. Let's get the combat MG. I love the, I love the mini, the, the tiny, like the tiniest um, MG or SMG. Sorry, the, like the thing's called the mini MG, SMG because it sounds like a fucking automatic nail gun. It's awesome. Oh, nope, that, that's the wrong way. That's backwards. Wrong, wrong, wrong. All right, let's go. Come on. This normally takes a while, especially when you this, this takes a few minutes when you're playing just solo. Um, splash damage time with a rocket launcher. Yes, got him. Cool. Um, yeah, also, I use lock on most of the time in GTA, especially since I'm using the Hyperkin Duke controller. If my aiming's a little bit weird, that's why. Basically, it's a recreation of the original Xbox fat controller from the original Xbox, the Duke controller, made by Hyperkin and licensed by Microsoft for the Xbox One freaking awesome controller works great with games like halo because of the divots and the thumbsticks um and also because the uh it also has the white and black face buttons which actually acts as bumpers as well as the actual bumpers which is pretty damn cool uh but it does make my aiming and steering in gta 5 a little bit wonky so 
yeah, sorry about all that. Um, if it looks a little bit off, that's probably why. All right, splash damage again. Rocket, please. Yes, perfect. Uh, I normally park. The, I normally. I normally don't normally use a Karuma for this one. I normally just use it as a bullet shield if I need to. Oh crap! I'm getting shot at. I need to put a new body armor pretty soon. I think. Uh, um, also, I, I prefer body armor over snacks just because. I actually don't know why. It's just what I tend to use. Um. Do, do, do. Super heavy body armor. Yeah, so I actually I I'd probably just keep this menu open for a little while. I normally do. Um, once I'm like using the sniper rifle, then I of course can't because of the way it zooms down the scope for that one. Um, and I'm not gonna try doing no scope of the sniper rifles in these guys because it's just freaking impossible in this game. Yeah, let's close menu. Um, rocket launcher splash damage with that. There you go. If we're gonna blow up the car and get some kills, you just, or just get splash damage kills with it. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think on hard difficulties they were wearing armor and take a little bit and take a little bit longer to kill, and there are just a few more of them. But medium, it's not that bad. Uh, easy, you don't get any extra RP or double or a cash right now. That's because there's double. It's, like, the only reason I'm doing repo right now is because it's double cash, double RP right now. I'm trying to get the laser mini gun, the Widowmaker, I believe it's called. And I don't buy shark cards normally, so yeah. Anyway, um, let's get out of here. Nope, wrong. Uh, yeah, this thing is. My favorite armor card because it's not as I mean, armored as like the insurgent, but it's definitely quick and agile, and it's probably the best armored vehicle in the game. Just hands down. All right. Cool. That was quick. Oh, that was actually really quick. That was awesome. All right. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Not a whole ton of cash because they died. Oops. I was an idiot for that one. Anyway, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching.